and it's 10:15, May 27. You haven't put it together. You may have psychiatric illness or criminal negligence, or you're a criminal involved with terrorism. Only terrorists would sit around breaking into my computer all day, tampering with key information about a global terrorist agenda, terrorist financing, economic espionage, slavery, sexual slavery, and more. No one who makes sense would sit around tampering with my information or my documents, or sit around stalking me trying to make me look psychotic all day. Look for the people invading my privacy. Those people are clearly guilty of terrorism, 99% of them. They're clearly guilty of terrorism, organized crime, RICO, economic espionage, data theft, IP theft, witness tampering, and tampering with evidence. No one in the right mind would tamper with someone's evidence who has key information about things that endanger the globe and endanger humanity. No one would sit around tampering and erasing key information. So who's not recognizing these more than indirect admissions of guilt? What, what person who makes sense would ever tamper with someone's information about a global terrorist agenda that threatens mankind, technology that threatens mankind, a RICO that threatens mankind, and large-scale hand-tying operations that threaten mankind, and all these tools and tactics they utilize? Ponder it. These people tampering with my documents are indirectly admitting to their involvement in terrorism and organized crime. Who do you think they're tampering evidence for? Tampering with evidence for? Terrorists, rapists, murderers, pedophiles, criminals involved with economic espionage, IP theft, data theft. Let's wake up. So why are these people not in prison? They're like literally admitting to being guilty and being involved in terrorism whenever they're sitting around tampering with my data, tampering with my documents, etc. It should be obvious. 